the duty to protect children is first in the hands of the parents. And if the parents are unable to protect children or unwilling to protect children or actively harming their own children, the state has a duty to protect them. The state does not have a duty to protect adults from themselves, but it does have a duty to protect children from their parents if the parents are actively, aggressively harming them. It's a very, very delicate area because the presumption of the doubt must always be on the side of the judgment of the parents. And I I know where you're going on this, and I'll let you take the next step because it's an area of human behavior that is repellent, but, but... something we have to address yes judge we do have to address it and I, you know i'm glad that this is the opportunity for us this is i think the first time we've had a conversation about this topic um new jersey sample lesson plans push videos for fifth graders on graphic sex related content judge essentially um children will be taught uh that puberty blockers are an acceptable way to manage puberty and this is under state sex education guidelines that will take effect in your state of new jersey in september what are your thoughts well i condemn it obviously it's an intrusion into the relationship between the parent uh, and the child the the government has no business uh, teaching anything having to do uh, with human sexuality uh, particularly the lgbtq plus side of things that that plus by the way now stands for so many things that they have to use the word PLUS rather than have uh, a continued acronym. The the word would be just too too (laughs) awkwardly long. But in that PLUS are things like, you know, you don't have to have um, a penis to be a boy. I mean, there are types of things that these uh, second grade teachers in New Jersey will be teaching New Jersey children that make you cringe that the government is doing this. So in a very famous case, which spawned um, homeschooling called Wisconsin against Yoder, <clears throat> the Supreme Court of the United States, in a brilliant and gifted opinion by then Chief Justice Warren Burger, ruled that the most protected of relationships in America is parent to child. And the state cannot intrude into that relationship. That means that if the parents don't want their children to learn this stuff, and I don't know what parent would want their children to learn this from the government, and their government schools, drop the word public, their government schools, they do the government's bidding, and the government's in the hands of the teachers' union. So this is a, this is a racket. Uh, the, the, the parents have absolute say and absolute veto power over what the government wants to teach their kids. We're talking to Judge Andrew Napolitano, host of the Judging Freedom podcast. His website is judgenap.com. Judge, why do you think that the left wants to teach this to children? Well, I know the left wants to control. The whole idea of government schools uh, is to control people, to raise us thinking that Abraham Lincoln was a saint, that every American president was great that all the wars we fought were just, that America is exceptional uh, and can do no wrong. That sort of uh, furthers the idea that we love government and government is good and we should give it our money and give it our support. But I can't put my finger on why the government wants to go to this particular depth uh, about teaching about puberty blockers uh, to five-year-olds. And of course, this is not the legislature of the state of New Jersey. The legislature of the state of New Jersey is controlled by liberal Democrats, but there are some conservative uh, Democrats in there that would uh, be certain to block this. This is one of those crazy situations where the legislature has given away its authority to the professional uh, ed- educationalist uh, crowd in the executive branch of the government, and they do whatever uh, the governor wants. What does the governor want? The governor wants to be the Democratic nominee for president when the Democrats boot Joe Biden, and he's appealing to the hard left in the Democratic Party. That's the best explanation that I can give.